how to set up a Shopify store on mobile. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can get started with your own Shopify store using your phone. So let's get into it. Now a lot of people think that creating a online or e-commerce presence is super difficult or complicated, but it's super simple and you can even do it from your phone. So I will show you guys exactly how to do it. Now I'm using a iOS device, so I'm going to go into my app store. If you're using an Android device, you have to follow the same steps, but instead just download Shopify from your Google Play Store. It is available on both devices. So and just search for Shopify and we're going to search for Shopify over here. Once you search for Shopify, you will see the first application. They also have a point of sales application. You're not downloading this one. We're going to download their normal application. And once you have downloaded it, you will open it up. Once you have opened up your application, simply click on get started over here. And we're just going to click on I'm just starting. And then we're going to click on next. Then you can answer a couple of questions like what would you like to sell? Where would you like to sell? So I want to sell on my online store. That is it. Maybe sell on social media as well. And yeah, that's it. So I'm going to click on next. Then if you want to link any of your social channels, you can link those, but I'm just going to do next. And then if you want to sell products using dropshipping or not, so I'm just going to add, I'm not sure. And once you've done that, Shopify will ask you uh, for your sign-in information. So we're just going to continue on over here and you can choose your Shopify ID to connect it with either your email, Apple, Facebook, or Google ID. So we're going to continue with Google over here and I am just going to continue on over here and log on to my Shopify store. And it only takes a couple of seconds to continue on your Shopify store. So I'm just going to click on get started and skip these questions for now. And I will continue and set up my Shopify store using Apple. And you can see they will ask for your basic information and I will click on continue. And just using face ID, I will sign in. And you can choose any of these platforms now. After that, it will give you your email address. So you can continue on with that. And we can click on create Shopify ID. Now, after that, it will ask you for a store name. Let's say I want to name it Jane's Clothing Hub. And I will click on next over here. You can change that for now as well. If you're still working on your store, you can even skip it. But we're just going to name it as it is. I'm going to show you guys like that. Then you're going to enter your location. So we're going to enter my store. And just like that, in a few seconds, your store is now created. So uh, after that, you can allow notifications. But uh, that is it. So just like that, we have created our store. So if I click on my store over here, this is my online store. It is currently password protected. Now I can click on my online store over here and I can click on navigation and start building pages on my online store. So for that, I can click on the navigation and you will see all of the pages that are currently available on your e-commerce store. So we're just waiting for these to load up and you can see now I have two menus. I have my footer menu and I have my main menu. In my menu, I have my home catalog and contact. So in my main menu, I can simply go on ahead and click on add menu. And I can actually edit the previous ones and enter the rest of my storefront items. Other than that, you can click on your product over here and begin adding products to your Shopify store. So if I click on over here, I can click on the plus icon on the top right of my screen. And this will open up a new section to add another product. Right now, Shopify is lagging a little for some reason. I'm just going to reopen Shopify because it was lagging for me. Now, after that, I'm just going to go back into my product. So you can see now it says add your first product. So I will click on add your products. And now you can see it shows me a very simple pop-up where I can enter my product title. Let's say it's a t-shirt or... And then you can enter your description for your product. It can be the detailed version of your product. Then you can enter how much your product costs. And you can also click on more over here and your profit margins as well, just to calculate your overall revenue. If you want to manage your analytics over here, you can do that as well. You can also charge taxes. I'm going to turn that off and you can also manage country slash region pricing. So I'm going to click on keep editing because I don't really need that. But these features are useful if you want to make sure that you're charging differently in different locations and you're charging, you know, taxes if you have to, you know, include sales tax afterwards. Now, after that, you can enter your inventory so let's say i have 200 in stock so i will add my inventory and once i've done that i can click on save over here 
and just in a couple of seconds i have created my first product on my shopify store so you can see this product hasn't been added because i have not added any images with it but if i just open up my camera over here i'm just going to add this as a sample image like this and i will click on save and now you can see once you've added your images basic a title and the price you will actually be able to see your product in your shop store now after that after you've added your products i actually recommend uh, that you spend the most time in your shopify application into managing your actual shopify store so you can see your store is going to look rather empty when it's first set up so you want to click on edit and you can begin editing your theme so we're using the dawn theme this is going to be the preset theme that most people do get and you can click on edit and begin editing the theme and the appearance of it so you can see you have your image banner it's a very intuitive editor so you can just drag and select any item and then once you select the item a pop-up at the bottom of your phone screen will appear and then you can add the text that you want so let's say i just want to do and after that, I can also choose the heading size. So I've added that. Then I have my cover image. I can click on change over here and I can select image. I can replace it. I can remove it, so on and so forth. And as I was saying for my pages, I'm just going to turn this down. And you can see I have my little catalog section. If I click on the menu and I click on catalog, you will be able to see your product so we're just waiting for this to load up on our screen currently obviously this is still in i'm still building the website so you can see the denim jacket that i just created is already in the product section so that is how simple and easy it is once you have done that you can also click on the top three dots and click on theme settings and change the overall theme uh look as well appearance as well to make sure your shopify store looks cohesive now after you've done that you can click on save and uh, edit your store accordingly and you can click on exit and you can also click on pages over here and begin adding more pages to your website to your e-commerce store as well so i hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to get started with your own e-commerce store using shopify on your phone it's simple easy and it works seamlessly on both android and iOS ios and you can integrate applications on your phone as well so you can click on add apps and add other applications such as your email marketing your product reviews inboxes maybe you have some other applications that you're using alongside shopify so you can do all of that directly from your phone and have your business right at your hand so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to like this video and subscribe to the youtube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that i have taught you within this video and make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need Need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites so i hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if i missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and i will catch you guys in the next video